ferry must prove its speed and stability on the high seas. Pass the test, and it could bring Hawaiians closer together than ever. But if it fails, $200 million will be down the drain. The team has a monumental job and a tight schedule. In just eight weeks, they have to complete a twin hull structure, 300 feet long, and as big as a city block. Workmen have built 40 separate modules and are now piecing them together. The catamaran design will reduce drag through the water. Most boats have one wide hull to stay balanced, but more surface area means greater resistance against the water. A catamaran gets its balance from having two hulls, so each one can be razor fine to slice through the water with ease. Today, the team must install the forward section of the left hull. It's as large as a motor home, the biggest catamaran bow they've ever built. They'll need a light touch. Three cranes gently position the bow. Now, workers line it up carefully. Any gaps between the bow and the rest of the hull will become catastrophic leaks when the ferry hits water. The first bow goes in. but it will be months until they know if the seal's watertight. Barges take a full day to cross the 160 miles from Maui to Oahu. The super ferry promises to make the same trip in just three hours. There's only one way to get this 1,400-ton vessel going fast enough meet the most powerful high-speed diesel engine in the world. This 20-cylinder powerhouse packs more punch than 100 cars. To reach full speed, the Super Ferry will need four of them for a total of 44,000 horsepower. Each one weighs a whopping 50 tons, but that's still five times lighter than a steel ship's engine. If these new engines perform as promised, not only will the super ferry be fast enough to appeal to air travelers, the ferry will be more fuel efficient 